Hello and welcome to episode 9 of the VR46 Career Mode. In today's episode, we will be off to Grand Prix of Styria in Austria. Fun fact for today's video, this is where Valentino Rossi got his first World Championship podium on the 125s back in 1996. I was minus two years old. I hadn't been born yet. He was getting podiums. He's still racing today. What a man. Anyway, let's try and replicate that and get on a podium today. Let's get on track. So here we are on the grid for the Austrian Grand Prix. Now, after the last few episodes, me choosing my own tire and getting it horribly wrong, I decided this round to, what the plan was, to go with the recommended tires for front and rear but they've recommended a soft front and around here a heavy braking track that will just not work for me so I've gone for medium uh, medium medium I did even consider I thought like medium would be the the uh, recommended and hard would be what I want to go but I I wouldn't go two compounds above what they recommend because I believe that I'd have a hard time pun not intended but yeah this should be it could be a really really tough episode or a really good episode i haven't really got my figured out haven't figured out yet where i'll be able to be super fast and pass a lot of people under the brakes or whether i'm going to get stuck behind people and not commit pass because i'm on a yamaha it's not quick and straight line but nonetheless i do like this track and uh i am hopeful of a good result anyway here we are on the grid five red lights and we are away look at how low that Aprilia is squatting down same with the Yamaha just just wants to pop up you'll see when I get on the brakes very first Yamaha snapping around that's gonna be tracking this morning already that's not good keep it in power tree plenty of time to be made up here on the round the outside oh almost on the grass that was a bit too aggressive for me. Gotta start nicely though. Just need to keep the front wheel down now. Yeah, I'm out once again just being beaten for straight length speed. I can break so much later than they do, but I can't get near them out of the corners. So can we get it tighter? In. That's another track limit on it. No, it's not. Ooh, big bump on entry to turn six. Pick the bike up, hold around the outside of Bashini. Apparently, that was a track limit on it. I don't know why. Oh, tagging the back of the KTM. That's lost us so much time. All our good work on the opening lap. Gone out the window. So, down to P20 again. Trying to square up Maverick out of the last corner. And we do lovely maneuver. They break solely, early even. I'm gonna just try and cut underneath them like that. Oh, front does not feel good with this medium already. I'm giving out about it. The edge grip just doesn't feel that good. There's a lot of vibration on the edge. Oh, much later, get on the brakes. Yeah, they are snapping around on the braking. It'll be critical now that I use the slipstream of the words in front to stay with these boys because they're going to be faster in a straight line. And try and dive bomb from as far back as I can. It's going to be crucial really that I have the medium front on. I think that soft footage just went off. I'm going to run here on Marcus. No, he cuts it off. Try to cut it back though, he's gone wide. We're gonna get him on the exit shortly. Maybe just squeeze him down into turn seven. Oh, he turns in on me, but he runs away. Maybe cut it back for true eight. Be very careful now, I'll make two track limits running I don't get a third. I actually kind of run into the back and kind of get held up there. And we get stuck on the outside, so Alex Mark is proving to be difficult to overtake. Use up an extra dot of fuel out of the last corner. And that should be two hundreds for the price of one, maybe. No, maybe. We're using the KTM for slipstream. 
Look how much the handle pulls away from this Yamaha. Oh, and I'm very hot there. They break so early, but so light, whereas I break late and hard. You can see they actually come back to me. Oh, big wheelie there on entry, or exit, sorry. We are making decent progress though, but we are so far behind Jack Miller. I wonder would I be able to catch up though. We've had collision with Alex Marquez. Have a look up the inside. No, we're not. We're going to just keep it tight. Oh, the Ducati's leaning on me big time there. Tread the gap? No, not today. Oh, it has run it wide so we though compared to the Ducati. Okay, good run on the KTM. Yes, we do. We actually managed to go around the outside of Brad Binder. Next up is Marquez. No, it's not Binder. Cuts back. We're going to dive up the inside of him. Job done. He gets out on the car. That time wasn't good for his corner entry. Fastest lap to us. Gonna just stick in behind him, use him for a bit of slipstream up the straight. Once again, I reckon we're in a bit hot. No, we're not. The yeah, age just breaks so early, it makes me feel like I'm in hot. Every lap. Anti wheelie just not good enough on the Yama out of that little hairpin there. Rear end is constantly on the move. That is up as far as the podium positions these boys here, so we're on actually quite a good charge. If we can clear all these, I know it's a big task, there's a mammoth amount the way. Oh, great run once again through here. And there's a championship. Championship contender Peko Bagnaya were in hot. Are we going to get this stopped? Just about, but we leave the two boys back through. So, the man you think would be running away with this one, Peko Bagnaya on the factory Ducati, is down in P7 for now. It's going to be 8 when we leave him for dust. It's going to try and negotiate it through there. Always contact between the championship. Ducati just pulls out and just tuck back into the slipstream. Use them to pull myself away from the KTM. So much later on the brakes. Oh, Mayer has a big bomb that's cost his exit. And he was up an extra bit of fuel just to get out of that hairpin better. And once again, so much later than Fabio on the brakes. Quattararo is going to cut me underneath, doesn't he? We get good eggs. He's on double hards. Oh, there's contact. P5, we're into one. Actually, a very, very good lap here. See by the delta, we're up a serious amount of time. Still have them two track limits warnings that we got in, I think, the opening lap at this stage. Just doing a small bit of short shifting through that long right hand there just to minimise the spin and excessive tyre wear. We've got that round out once again, and that's going to be us off the track. I can't give up enough time there. I give away a good half second. That's going to be a track minutes warning. Yep. So that's the third one. So we, fair enough, they get didn't get one for the big one and the small one. We got one, so that was dangerous. Gonna be a new fastest lap though. Yeah, we dropped down into 223, so we're not actually really going that fast. Oh, we just done around the outside. Are we gonna get this stopped? Yes, we are. Alex Rins. Eat your heart out. That was some move. Now, next up is the Aprilia man. Of Aleish Espagaro. Taking the kind of Jack Miller Scandinavian line into turn 3, and it works so well for us. Really getting into the groove of this track now. This lunge is gonna come. Can we get a stop? Oh, just contact, we won't run wide. But we managed to square him off, and that is podium for now. 
Or in very hot there at all. Very hot, so we are. Yamaha is kicking about now a lot. But I reckon our pace is definitely good enough to win this race. Which is a surprise. Good exit out of the last corner. And not the caddies do struggle through these fast corners here. That's really where this Rossi's Yamaha should excel. And we are just in the slipstream now of that goal. A low 23, that was a brilliant lap to get me right back into this fight. Can we win another race this season? And this will put us definitely back into the lead in the championship. I'll just sit in Zach with Supreme. Breaking very early there myself just to make sure I get it stopped. Mistake there from Zarko on exit. We are with them. Where will we do it? I don't really want to push too hard down into here. Again, breaking sorely myself. See how easy it is for me to get a stop compared to them. Maybe up around here somewhere. Not Zarko, is it? He's going to fight around the outside, but it's a losing battle. Miller runs away. He's going to come back. Yes, he is. His contact. Oh, he goes for his defensive line. We're squaring off up to third gear. Rain just spinning it. We got a good driver on the wrong piece of the track. We're not going to be able to do it around the outside, I'm afraid. It's going to bide my time now. He's running wide. He's pushing me wide. Wrong gear on Ultra there. Sarko's right there. Cross the line, we are equal. What can we do now to one? Looks like we got to move down. Last lap, we lead. Can we hold on to that? Oh, will the Ducati's blast back pass? We're all very defensive in here. Park it on the apex. Ooh, Miller, I go oh, big relief myself as I looking back at Miller who lost the front on the apex. So one big breaking zone here, and if we can survive this, we should have it. Big moment, and we've run it deep. No, <laughs> just like I said we survived this, we have it. We have a wide sweeping line though. What can we do in this final section now to win this race? The rear end is gone completely, it's just killing me now. It's a three bike battle for the win. It's a, that's our four track numbers are going to be very careful now in this final sector. We use up all the tire. Can we go around the outside to the two of them? Yes, we can. Can we get a stop? Big stoppy. They die. We're going to have to cut it back. Davi on Marquez moment into the final corner. I think we've done it. Up the power tree. Someone is off, I think it was Miller. And we've won it. What a race that was. LH Espargaro coming home in P3 and Miller P5. So I think Miller, I'm gonna have a quick look at the replay to see exactly what happened that one. So here, a second, I'm just gonna turn off that. Here we are, we got an unbelievable drive out of there. The two Ducati, Ducati just send it in there. You see, we just cut underneath them here. And there's a small bit of contact between myself, Zark, and that end was pushing Jack out onto the red. And that's how the end of the race came about. And in victory for Valentino, that was incredible. Fast lap to myself as well. That was such a fun race. Oh, we still aren't leading the championship. That's a surprise. I suppose we did have a poor round at Assen, so it's kind of leveled out now, but two points in it after 10 of 18 races, so Zarco is still there. Fabio is out of it, so it's between us, Zarco, and Francesco. Patron is still P3. And we are 11 points behind the 
Ducatis in the constructors, but what a result that is. That was one of those racetracks where I felt like I'd either be really quick, like AI yeah, actually was, or that I'd struggle and finish just in the points just because I wouldn't be able to make up positions, but I was absolutely unbelievable on the brakes. I'd been able to use that kind of Scandinavian flick into turn three every lap really saved me so much time and probably for the first time all season I made the right decision to go against the game and pick the front tyre like I mentioned medium front tyre really came into its own <sighs> so after a poor Assen we make up for it here in Spielberg Rossi never actually won here in Spielberg from my knowledge so first victory for him in here would have been a great track actually if they went there back when he was with Ducati when the Ducati was poor. I reckon he could have had a good few results there. But nonetheless, he's got his victory now. They're a bit late on the podium in the pretty I have to get used to seeing that. Good to see. So I hope you did enjoy that. Up next on the calendar will be Silverstone, a track Rossi loves and has done very, very well over the years. But that has been it for today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed. If you liked it, please like and subscribe for more of these VR46 content. And yeah, I should see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.